Hello everyone. I am going to talk today about inks and I am rather a fanatic about inks and um, I share this love of brilliant color and bright um, vivid color um, with a good friend Amber Lee and many others. Um, but I'm going to talk about a color that more or less has come to be kind of a signature color for me. Um, my screen name um, on the fountain pen network is Halloween HJB. So the Halloween part um, has kind of stuck with me um, as a color. And so I have a, a number of <laughs> favorites, as you can see. Um, among all the oranges I have, these are the oranges that um, really stand out in my opinion. And um, these are the ones that uh, I prefer to use. Uh, there's at least one or two of my Desert Island inks, the, the inks that I would take if I had only you know, one of each color to take. Um, uh, that they're there in this group. Um, so let me just go through real quickly um, some of these. Um, we'll do, we'll talk about um, Apache Sunset, which is a Noodler's ink. Um, I love this color. I love it. I love the shading. I love the multi-layered color. But I have to be honest and say that it is an ink that's very vexing because it takes a long time to dry and even once it's dried, it still can smear. And so it's, it's one of those inks that I love and hate at the same time. Sorry to say. Um, and that is true of many Noodler's inks. Um, I have to say I really love the color, but they're not practical. Um, KWZ Kuz, if you like, um, the initials of the, of the um, creator. Um, and Monarch, their, um, their special ink, and it's, um, I think, an, ex an exclusive to um, which uh, store? I think it's in the Netherlands. Um, it's not coming to me, um, but I believe it's only um, available from that store in the Netherlands. Um, it is a rich, beautiful, um, deep orange uh, that really um, has a character to it. Okay, so there's that one. Um, Orange Rumble by Robert Oster. Like I like this, love it. Um, I am. I I hmm. I really think this is a great ink. Um, there's a certain quality to it that is. I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, there's a certain gold maybe. In the in the orange that just kind of pops um, and it just it's a great ink so this one I highly recommend um, Krishna caramel okay well Krishna inks uh, for many people are somewhat difficult um, the colors are so rich and they're and they're so saturated and the dyes and the 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 actual um, uh, what there there's a certain chemistry that works with the, with these uh, Krishna inks that can make them very um, give give off nub nib crud. Um, there are some that are worse than others. Um, caramel is not one of those. Um, it actually is very, it's a fairly clean ink, um, but the color is rich and it just jumps off the page. If you do a, um, a drop onto a paper towel, you will see 
um, just exactly how, how complex the ink is. Um, there's, a, there's a true orange base, but there's also a brown that separates out um, when you uh, put it on a paper towel. Um, and uh, it's just a phenomenal ink. I love this ink. Um, Jacques Herbin or Je Herbin, I don't know if they want to, you know, say if it's Jacques or not. Um, and this is Cornaline d'Egypte, which is Cornaline of Egypt. It's a, um, a precious stone. Um, beautiful color in the same range as <laughs> as many of the oranges that I enjoy. Um, this is this is the range that I like. I like an orange that has a little more yellow and gold to it than red. And red orange is okay, but this is really the color that I prefer. And this is this is a lovely ink. Um, and it also has sparkles, if you like that. Um, I'm not always in wanting sparkles but um this is this is a really beautiful ink so um highly recommended kin mokuse by sailor um gorgeous um there's a bit of sheen it's kind of a silvery sheen it's lovely it, this is a lovely ink um very brilliant very bright um and just in the color range that I enjoy. Um, Orange Indien by uh, Jacques Herpin um, is also, ooh, let me cover up some of that mess. Um, there was a spot of green ink, I think, on there, and it kind of mixed in there a little bit. Um, this, is, this is also a, a very handsome ink. I, I like this very much. Um, and it really, I mean, it really does remind me of the orange of the Indian flag um, and, you know, the, the, the oranges that you see um, so often in, in, on Indian women in, in their, their clothing. Um, love it. All right. Krishna, another Krishna ink, Palasa. Palasa is, is a lovely ink, very very strong. Um, it's a bright and light ink uh, when you write with it in a pen. Um, it also has a bit of a sheen on good paper. Um, so it's it's somewhat similar to Kin Mokuse. Um, I would say it's, 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 it, you could, they, they're difficult to distinguish. They're so close. So I love this ink. Um, Fuyugaki, we're getting into it, uh, into the, the, a different, more, um, let's say, kind of brownish uh, oranges. Um, and this is, uh, this is uh, officially persimmon or a winter persimmon um, in Japanese, uh, fuyugaki. Um, and this is a deeper orange uh, with more red. Um, and, it's, and it's really a beautiful ink. Um, and well-behaved. Um, you can't ask for nicer ink. Monteverde, um, fire opal. Um, fire opals have a red uh, in them, and it's a brilliant, super bright pinky red. Um, at least the, the fire opals I've seen. Um, and so this ink doesn't quite match its name. Although I like the ink a lot, um, it, it really isn't the red of a fire opal. Um, but anyway, I, I like this ink very well for, for the darker, uh, moodier oranges. Um, ancient copper, of course, is classic. It is, uh, you know, it's hard to beat. Um, it, it is um, a complex ink. It has a number of shades going through it just lovely um and um diamine easy to get um not uh difficult to find so um that's a uh, very nice quality and then finally i have uh, aurora from uh, l'artisan pastelier um which is a french ink uh company that's that produces very often the inks are rather 
kind of subtle and um, soft-spoken, we'll say. Um, they tend to kind of uh, a, go towards a, a softer, less vibrant look. Um, but this Aurora is, for me, just the right combination of orange with a little bit of pink, um, like a sunrise. Um, and so this, this ink I find very, very nice. Um, so let's take a look at a couple of them on um, some nice uh, Tomoe River paper. Um, and just to give um, a view to some of these uh, very handsome inks. Um, so, um, let's start with caramel, or caramel if you'd like. Um, and this is the Krishna. And um, I'll show this, I'll hold this up in a minute. Um, it is one of my favorite inks. Um, there is a beautiful richness to it. Um, do some more of that. Okay. Um, and I have that in an Edison Collier, um, I think. Ancient gold, something to that effect. Um, and the bottle, in case you're wondering, um, looks like that, or at least it did when I got it. Um, I think Krishna has done some um, modifying to its 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 um, whole approach to um, their products. Um, but I'm glad I have a couple of extras of that. Um, here we have um, the beautiful Kinmokuse um, by Sailor. Nope, this is Fuyugaki. All right. Yeah, it's Fuyugaki because I have it in an Edison Collier persimmon. All right, so we're going to go back here and turn this into something. And I'll figure that out later, and then it may have petals or something like that, and we'll have a something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is Hiroshi Suku. Hiroshi Suku. Um, Fuyo Gaki. Okay. A lovely, lovely persimmon ink. Um, let's go to what I thought I had in the other one. Um, this is a, um, a pilot um, with a plunger um, mechanism. Um, it was recommended by Neil Gaiman. Um, the writer who does all of his writing in a long hand with fountain pens. And this is, yes, Sailor. Okay. Um, Kinmokuse. This is a very pretty ink. Um, and just sheens up like crazy, um, even though it's very light, um, as I will show you in a second. Um, this is the charming Coos, as I call it, which makes no sense, but that's what I call it. Okay, and this is Monarch. That's a terrible R. Um, nice and rich and dark. Okay, 
And then finally, this is the um, Jacques Herbin mm, Cornaline. In a um, Levenger True Writer. Um, I bought this ages ago. Um, and um, not a bad little pen, not a super expensive, um, and just a really dependable little writer. Love it. Okay, and so there we have our collection of inks for your viewing pleasure. And of course, there we go. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see some of the sheen on the Kinmokuse. Um, that one sheens very nicely. Okay, the uh, Fuyugaki also somewhat, um, there's, a, there's a bit of sheen to that as well. So here are my f some of my favorite oranges. Um, and I hope um, I've introduced you to something that you hadn't seen before. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you later.